Welcome back to the six o'clock show where we are all <laughs> I'm <laughs> not right. I know. I, I know. You as hostile as me. No, you're not. You're yeah, calm and collected, and you're cooking Christmas turkey. Yeah, but I am. Like, I am slightly added. You know, when you get to that point of Christmas Day where, like, everyone's here, it's a bit of a giggle, everyone's all excited, and you're the one who has to produce the Christmas dinner. Fine, <laughs> can we talk about a brand? It's carnage in here. What's all right, up? What are we starting with? We are, you know what we're going to start with? We're going to start with cranberry sauce. This is so easy. Like, oh, that's why gosh. I want to show you how to do it. I'm going to put it on the start. 100 mils of sugar, 100 mils of water, 250 grams of fresh cranberries. They're all over the supermarket at the moment. A little bit of clementine or orange zest oh. or juice. Um, if you want to send fancy at Christmas and you want to make it all look nice, buy yourself a box of clementines, the ones with the leaves on, because they look very festive and fancy. Mm. Put them beside everything. <laughs> and they just make yeah, everything look better. They do, actually. They really, really do. Um, and, and they, they dress look beautiful up in your turkey as well. You've even popped one there they do, to dress yeah. the turkey. That's and I actually put it inside the turkey, which is really, really nice as well. But it does. It adds a lovely, lovely kind of festive tone to it. That's ah. just going to do its thing. That is going to bubble and boil away. Um, and that's it done. So that's going to cook really, really nicely. My hob is beeping at me. It's I was not wondering. happy. Yeah, there's a timer. Oh, there For the you first go. night ever, the time. See, this is what happens at Christmas Day. Some random timer <laughs> Some comes random on. Thing. And then you look at the turkey after two and a half hours. Everyone's on the way home from mass and it's like the turkey's not cooked. What are we going to do? <laughs> that kind of a vibe. I want to show you my Brussels sprouts. We have a couple of lovely sides over here. I have done oh, um, beautiful oh. roasty potatoes with parmesan. So just when they're about to come out of the oven, parmesan and thyme. We have roast butternut squash, which has a little bit of paprika, a little couple of herbs, stuffed with a little bit of goat's cheese. Really mm. nice. Whoa, whoa. Red cabbage, slow cooker red cabbage. That recipe is going up on my website tomorrow. And the Brussels sprouts, which are on my Instagram. Fab. Parboiled Brussels sprouts. I want to show oh you this really God. quickly. Boil them, six minutes, boiling water. Plunge them into ice cold water. Do that the day before. Look how green they are. Mm. Versus a lot of Brussels sprouts go to the table, they're a bit yellow, yellow yeah. on Christmas Day. Mm. Not, don't do that. Ice. <laughs> no, no, no. Ice. No, no, no. 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 We're not allowing that to happen no. this year. In here, I put garlic, a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, salami, oh my gosh, Brussels yeah. sprouts, and I'm going to top it with some hazelnuts. So they're just the ones that you made the day before? Did and four? then you've put them all yeah. in the... Oh, wow. Like minutes. Hazelnuts. That is made in four minutes to the table. So that one's really lovely. Can I pass that to oh, you? Yes. I'm going to put it in that way. Oh, nice. We'll and they're ready to eat now. Yeah. You're not even going to put... Oh, yeah. Just warm them up. Usually. Yeah, they're just straight out of the saucepan. Oh, like, wow. piping lovely. hot. Everything. And by the way, the turkey's been resting for 45 minutes. And while that rests, that's when everything else went in and cooked. So you use that 45 minutes the resting to do everything else. <gasps> yeah. Genius. Genius. Mm -hmm. so that's why I'm here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sausage meat stuffing. This is sausage meat. God, you take no shortcuts, Ashley. No, you know, sausage meat stuffing is a funny one. Sometimes it can be too sausage meaty, and I don't like it. It's like 50, 60, 70, 80% sausage meat. This is about 40% sausage meat with your stuffing, and it's just the perfect balance. It's really nice. Into that, I'm putting chestnuts. Uh, they're vac packed, supermarket. The secret to a great stuffing cook your onions down, soften them in butter first. Mm. Stuffing tends to repeat on people a lot. It's because you've raw onions, and they do partially cook in the oh. oven, but they don't fully. Did cooked you know onions. That? Cooked Did onions. You know that? Oh, cooked onions are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. they can that for like some people. In the throat, like, oh, after. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it ate just too me. much. <laughs> just thought it ate too much, that's all. Just like, general Christmas indigestion. Yeah. Yeah. Herbs are using there. The basics of rosemary, thyme, parsley, and. Rosemary, oh my god. Sage. The infamous sage ah. that had to go in. Okay. You mix all that around. I wouldn't use all dried herbs in my stuffing. What's really nice to do is a mix of both, okay? okay? That's your stuffing. Give it a little mix around. Put it in the tray, like I did there. Mm -hmm. Guys, do you want to serve yourselves up? Oh my God, We're please. We're kind of doing oh, yes. yeah. here. Tuck in, serve up little bits and bobs of everything. <laughs> and we can carve the turkey as well, and that's ready. Um, these are turkey bags, by the way. You get them in all the supermarkets. If you're a bit nervous about cooking your turkey, you can pop them in one of these bags, steams them. Loads of people love them as an idea. Um, just means it, ensuring it's not going to go dry on you. Yeah, but I'm going to show you now what we're going to do to prevent it from going too dry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, do you want to eat Butter. Here. We're going to put butter oh, under the skin yes. of butter the turkey. Butter is the trick. It is the trick. So I've melted just like soft butter, mashed it up, black pepper into there again. Parsley, sage, thyme, rosemary, four of them going in. Black pepper. My butter is salted butter, so you don't need extra salt, okay? Mm -hmm. I one year put um, clementine zest in my butter on my turkey, did it all, did not go down well. Oh, no. Oh. Stick to the basics on okay. Christmas Day and get all it right. right. That is my top tip. Do you do the cooking in your house, Karen? I will for the first time oh. this year. After seeing this. 
Well, I said, John will do the turkey. I'm doing the heating up of the veg. Excellent. <laughs> so the Brussels sprouts, <laughs> that's real good. Do carrots. the carrots, do the Brussels sprouts. Yeah, really, really. That'll okay. transform how you do things. OK. I have a lovely carrot recipe on my website as well. That'll sort of OK, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. <laughs> Bad so... day to be blunt and great. <laughs> We're getting fed already. Stop. What am I over here? Sounds like you're having a great time There'll over There'll be none left. I have a turkey knife if anybody would like to carve Ooh. the turkey. They're right here. I'm They're absolutely very not brave enough for that. I'm so. never going to do the carving. Here you go. Carve, girl. No, carve. No, no, no. There's a knack to this, and I don't want to do this I'm on I'm really not. I'm I'll give the crack. Yeah, yeah go on, Craig. What, what are you doing with the butter there? In the... So yeah, start exactly. at the side and go at an angle. OK. So you want to kind of go like... Start at the side and go at an angle. pierce it with your fork. OK. Yeah. And then, I'll do it with the front so the camera can see me okay. mess up badly. And then, yeah, perfect. All right. That is perfect. Really nice thick slices. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Ooh. Beautiful. Not bad. Fabulous. Not bad Beautiful. at all. And the secret Lovely. to your turkey, when it rests, take it out, take yourself a big bath towel, oh put it in God. the tumble dryer, heat it up nice and hot around a radiator, oh, it wrap out your now. turkey back in foil, <laughs> Back in a big towel. That will keep it warm while it rests. Go, sir. Do everything yeah. else in the oven. Happy Christmas. Hey, I remember that saying I thought you were carrying a small shot. Yeah, I know it was wrapped in a towel. Yeah. So in terms of doing the butter, yeah. you have slid some under the skin yes. and then also over. Yes. Wow. So that's going to keep it really, really moist oh and juicy. God. And on the bottom, Look I just this. put a couple of lemons, a couple of onions, mm. celery, carrot, whatever this you want in there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pour in wine or sure. water or stock, whatever you want. So a little bit of wine going in here. And then you're going to cover it with foil. Yeah. And that's going to steam in all oh, of those wow. juices. And you're going to seal it up. Um, so this is a small turkey. So this is a two and a half kilo turkey. What I did with the foil, painted it with oil. Thanks, mm -hmm. So Very that way it doesn't place. stick and rip off. Imagine if all the that's skin was really ripped off the top. Well. So like a tent up high, wrap it in like this. Like a tent <laughs> up high. Well done. Thanks. Well done, you. Thanks, my mom. Well the baby, the the turkey. I'm going to be upgraded from Brussels Road duty this year. <laughs> You're officially on turkey duty. <laughs> That's it. That goes in the oven. It roasts for the last half an hour. Take off that foil. Allow it just to sit and to rest. And then what I did before I serve it to the table, a little bit of leftover butter, that herby butter, just save like a little bit, melt it, and with a pastry brush, just paint it on. Little sprinkle of fresh herbs, garnish, pomegranate, grapefruit, and it's absolutely delicious. Well, what's the verdict? What's your favourite side? Oh, oh my God. God. So mm. like the potatoes, this red cabbage thing. Yeah. Give it all to me, please. <laughs> the red cabbage thing. Oh. Is there, is there space at your uh, kitchen table now absolutely. for one more, please? Always. Mm. Always, so good. for sure. Is there a sort of rough guide if you mm. want to have lunch at 2 o'clock, what time you need to start really prepping everything? Yeah, there is. I have a full time plan. I'll actually put it on the website, ashleynarkin.ie. Um, it begins at 8 o'clock in the morning, half 8. Ah, uh yeah. -huh. Yeah, After I know. The it, been it's doing it's doing a little bit of prep. You have to have your turkey out of the fridge an hour before to bring it up to room temperature before it goes in the oven for bit. the recommended time. And if it's a frozen turkey, it can take anything up to 48 hours to defrost. So be sure to take it out, defrost it in the fridge um, really, really well. But yeah, starting that that early. If you want to serve it too, it should be coming out of the oven or half two, it should be coming out of the oven a quarter to two, 45 minutes to rest. Piping hot gravy is the secret. It will just fix everything, oh, just, in case, just in case. Thanks wow. so much for all those Done. tips, Ashley. You're, so welcome. You're on a question now to get it right. I sure am. <laughs> That's all we have time for tonight, folks. A massive thank you to all of our guests who are having a great dinner there. And of course, to Ashley.